Oh man, uh, where can I start? <laughs> yeah, 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 All right, so when was the day? It's, um, August or July of 2009. Yeah. I remember walking in. Um, this was um, the IB um, like introduction slash um, orientation. I remember walking in. This is just me and a few other students. I don't see any, you know, any other African American students. And then, like, you know, five minutes later, I see Dez walk in. And I'm like, yes! <laughs> Finally, someone I can connect with. And actually, I always, I didn't know him, but I always, always knew of him from um, playing basketball. Um, he played uh, with Davis, his coach back there. I asked him why he had to blow our team out like that back in uh, middle school, about like 60 points, but I'll save that story for another day. <laughs> But um, just growing up in, uh, in high school, I remember uh, me and Dez, we had all of the same classes from um, ninth and 10th grade. He uh, transferred to Bethel. And I can't lie, I was real sad. Dez was the first person I met in high school. And you know, we managed to uh, keep in contact and everything. He went to Bethel. And um, as we, move on, we moved on to uh, college, we decided to room with each other. Uh, we lived in Brant Hall. And, uh, Ooh, man, it's a lot of memories in college. <laughs> I'm only gonna share a few select stories with you. <laughs> all right, but in all seriousness, um, man, I seen Dez grow into um, a dynamic young man. Um, Dez was usually always very shy. I always tell him, and I told his mom a few uh, days ago, Dez is like the top two nicest people that I know, and number one being my mom. But it's a close, it's a close, close, real close. Um, Dez is a guy, he'll do anything for anybody. You give him a call. I tell him, Dez, man, why are you always happy? I'm like, Dez never gets mad. I'm like, Dez, come on, you know, trying to rough him up a little bit. Um, but, man, um, I remember uh, Dez went on co-op for six months. And I was like, man, what am I going to do? My right-hand man is gone. Um, and I was wondering, man, Dez, you, you got to call me every day, you know, <laughs> when you get off from work. But, um... I can say so much about Dez. Uh, like I said, dynamic individual, um, do anything for anybody. I mean, on Sundays, Dez like, Trey, what you doing? Get up, we going to church. I'm like. I'm like, thanks, my mom all over again. <laughs> Talking Dez would send, um, send us Bible verses, words of motivation. You can go to dance for anything. <laughs> but um, I just want to uh, thank you, Dance, for always being a you know, supportive figure in my life. Um, I actually look up to you, to be honest. That's all right, brother. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. I said I wasn't going to cry, man. <laughs> All right. Now, one thing about Dez, um, he sets goals, and whatever he puts his mind to, he makes sure that he does it. From opening up in, uh, small businesses to um, joining Goldman Sachs, because I remember Dez applying to Goldman every year, just staying persistent. He um, always applied, and um, he knew that as long as he um, stayed confident, prayed, and had faith, that one day his opportunity would come. And um, during last summer, he got the opportunity to enter at Goldman Sachs, and um, actually they offered him a full-time position to come back. So now, as again, you know, as we part ways, you know, I'm going down south to Texas, and Dez is going to New York. I told him, like, man, I'll have a lot of frequent flyer miles. <laughs> But I, um, Dez, man, congrats, and um, I know, you know, we only a phone call away, and nothing can hold us back, and we have a lot to look forward to. Um, 
I would honestly love to thank everyone uh, individually, but I'm, I'm sorry, I just can't. But I can't go without thanking my mom and my dad, Natalie and Earthwin. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, uh, to my mom. Like I said, the most loving, kindest person you'll ever meet. Um, she held down the fort when my dad was in the military, um, going on different tours, and mommy never complained. I remember just um, growing up, I'm like, you know, I went to sleep around 12, and and the, here in the morning, mommy up downstairs, it's five o'clock, mm, mommy's not tired. But one thing, she never complained. She never complained about doing anything for me and my sister. And um, there's nothing like a mother's love. Uh, mommy, I love you. And to my dad, the reason why I'm up here today. I mean, growing up, I always wanted to be like my dad. Whatever my dad did, I wanted to do. Um, I'm an engineer actually because of my dad. Uh, he was an engineer in the Navy and then retired and worked at NASA as an operating engineer. And um, my dad showed me how to be a man. There's so much I can say, but my dad always told me that, yes, he can tell you he loves you all he wants, but he can show you better than he can tell you. And I just wanna thank my dad for always instilling to me um, that everything, that everything worth having comes with sacrifice. And I learned that from a very, very, very young age. And I was growing up, I'm like, man, daddy, kind of hard on this, me and T, but you don't realize until you get older of the importance of, you know, your parents being hard on you. Um, you know, me and Des and everyone in here could probably see how, you know, maybe an individual took a, a wrong turn and uh, ended up on the opposite side of the law just by making one bad decision. So I just want to thank my dad for it. always telling me to, one thing, keep my head on. Every time I went somewhere. <laughs> So man, Daddy, thanks for everything. Um, thank you for pulling the family on your back um, and giving me the blueprint of how to be successful. And um, I love you all. And I can't forget about, where's my grandmother? Grandma. Grandma, man. I'm, my grandma actually texts me every morning. Trev, have a good day. Trev, show me what you, what did you eat today? <laughs> and a lot of just words of encouragement. Uh, Grandma, I love you and um, you know I did this for you. And I would say, I'd like to say um, rest in peace to my um, grandparents, uh, my mom's side. Um, I know they're looking down right now and they're smiling on us. Um, to my grandfather, uh, all the way from Trinity, thank you. Uh, for coming to share this special moment with me. I really appreciate all the talks that you have with me long distance. Um, I know I've been up here for a while, so I'm gonna turn the mic over to no other than Desmond Dwayne. Oh man, I think uh, Trev went first because he knew I was gonna end up crying. Uh, <laughs> Hold back the tears as long as I can, but um, you know, I first want to thank all of you for coming out and showing support. Um, it really means a lot to both Trevor and I that y'all are here, and um, your presence is just greatly appreciated. So I want to thank y'all for that. Uh, first and foremost, um, I think Trevor kind of hit on all the stories, right? Like our journeys through high school, playing basketball together. Um, that was one of the few times I was on the winning end. Oh, sorry, can you hear me in the back? We good? All right. Um, but like. The support that everyone in here has gave me through college, through high school, through basketball and <laughs> at Davis. Um, so many people I could thank individually um, and I wish I had the time to do it. My mom, my dad, um, biggest supporters in the background, my grandmother, Yolanda, everyone in here who's, who supported me along the journey. Um, and I think it's really kind of a testament to the fact that sometimes uh, God blesses you with people. And uh, being Trevor is hard. Trevor, Darius, Francis, and Roke. Uh, a 
lot of times uh, I didn't know what to do. And uh, Trevor was always here. Jerome, Rope, Darius, Francis. Sometimes I didn't think I was good enough. Sometimes I just had to pray. So that's what uh, I don't want to take too much time going right here, but uh, I just want to thank y'all for coming and showing support. Thank you. Get me over here, almost crying. Oh, no. <laughs>